Today to take a look at the CPU performance of the M4 M4 Pro on a CPU bound task. Now I'll be using Handbrake to transcode and compress a file which is 6 gigabytes to 2 gigabytes more or less. It is a video with 16 minutes and if we compare the M1 Max for example it took 13 minutes to compress this file. And I will talk for a few seconds here so that you can see the CPU usage, GPU and also the RAM and I will do this for all the CPUs. Now going to the M4 Pro, it took 8 minutes and 23 seconds which is huge. I will talk for a few more seconds so that you can see as well the graphics working right over. But what we can see is that the CPU will be taxed to the maximum. Now on the M4 it took 12 minutes, so faster than my max to the with the M1 Max which is to be expected. The same for the CPU, GPU and RAM. And finally the Mac Mini with the M1 took 20 minutes to compress the exact same file. So CPU, GPU, RAM usage and you could see that all of them are at the maximum in terms of the CPU usage because this is a task that uses a lot of CPU. And if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated it and can't even edit your desktop icons, don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official OEM keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description it will get even cheaper. Now the question is should I go for the M4, M4 Pro, should I go for the used market on the M1 Max? M1 is probably not the best choice at this moment and the answer is easy, we just need to know what we are going to do. Now I'm going to give you an example of a few years ago that I did work with After Effects on a daily basis and After Effects is RAM and CPU and I needed to deliver projects to my clients which then would say to me hey Robert change me this this and this I would make the changes that they requested and I would render the project again so rendering project after project and having multiple clients forced me to have better machines and better machines actually my YouTube channel started that way showing my After Effects templates back in 2010 so it was totally worth it for me to spend more money on on some machines depending on the performance that I would get for them so that I could deliver faster and faster and I would be able to earn more money than if I was waiting to render and could not work on another project at the same time and so on and so forth. So the same applies today, 2025. Now in my opinion for most people the M4 will be the best choice because we will be in budget and at the same time we will have insane performance as we could have seen in Final Cut, DaVinci Resolve and today with handbrake which is just an example of a tool. But if you can justify the M4 Pro on one of these examples that I just given or if you have the extra cash and you feel that this will future proof for a lot longer than the M4 then this will be a great decision based on the task that we will do because if we only do Final Cut Pro for example then the best choice is none of these still one M1 Max and M2 Max which has the two encoders to decoders which will cut half the times in terms of rendering. For the overall choice and talking today about CPU bound tasks the M4 is the one that I would suggest for 90% of the people and then in some case scenarios like the one that I said M4 Pro. That being said hope that this video was helpful and if it was don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you on the next one.